What's up everybody, this is Jeremy. Today I'm going to be showing you an application from Wonder Warp called Shove Box. Um, it sits up here in your menu bar and uh, it's a cool little way to organize uh, things that you need to keep together. You can keep notes and different things like that. Um, there are a lot of different note taking and captions and applications and stuff like that, but I really, really like this one because it's really small and organized and simple. Um, at the end of the video I'll get to some of the things I wish they would have added, actually one thing. Uh, but other than that, this application is perfect. I love this because it doesn't take up a do an icon in your dock or anything like that. It just sits up here. Uh, you can capture a new text note. So you can come up here and you can have a title for it. You can put a caption down here. You can export it as a file to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. You can print it. You can delete it. Uh, you can change your fonts down here. Um, I'm not sure what this one is, actually. Uh, you can put you know, add a comment, um, come up here and you can capture from your eyesight, which I can't do right now because I'm using my eyesight to record this, but you can put a caption, uh, anything like that, you can add notes with that, uh, your quick jot, which is kind of like the text, like the note sort of, anything that you need, you can just come down here and uh, save it there, and then there's actually hotkeys you can set up to pop this stuff up anytime you need it. Um, you can import from your clipboard. You can organize, uh, which down here, I'll get into this in just a second actually. Um, you've got your recent entries, you've got your preferences about, uh, just right here tells you the company names and stuff like that, and you can check for updates. Um, your preferences, I'll show you really quick. Uh, in general, you can import URLs as web archives, bookmarks, or you can have it always ask you. You can have it spell check as you type. You can have it confirm before deleting folders or entries, uh, which these would be your entries on the right, and on the left would be your folders. Um, you can have it start shove box when you log in, uh, which I would recommend, and you can have it check for updates automatically, which again I would recommend. Um, appearance, you can go change your fonts. Uh, your icons over here on the left is your icons that it's talking about. Um, right now I've only got two folders, so I use the larger ones, but you can set it to smaller if you have more folders. Um, your hotkeys, you can set this up for actions or entries. Uh, right here is the organizer that I'm moving around right now. Um, I've got it set up where you can hide that uh, or bring it up. Uh, you can hide and bring up the quick jot. Uh, you can set up different things like that. Um, you can have it paste automatically to Shovebox. Uh, you can have it set up to where you can bring up a new text note. Uh, you can have it clear all hot entries uh, or keys. Um, then you got your labels. This is the one thing I would change. On the application, you've got all these different colors, and you can set them up as different labels. Uh, right here, this Call of Duty one I just set up is blue, just to show you that you can add the colors. Um, then I've got this one down here, and it's an important one, so I have it labeled red. Um, I wish that you could have it set somehow use like the iCal or something to uh, you could set a date to your important labels and have it pop up to remind you of that. Um, I, that could be on here and I might just not see it but I don't think it is. Um, and you got your rules, you can set up different rules over here, I'll just pop that up and show you. Um, and then you've got syncing for iPod or iPod Touch if you have the application from the App Store there. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you real quick over here. Um, you double click this and it brings it up and it's got the title, that's me playing Call of Duty. Um, you can export it as different image types. Uh, you can set where you want to save it. Um, you can go up here and print it. You can delete it. You can add a uh, comment to it. Or you can set up a hotkey for it to have it automatically pop up anytime that you might need it. Like if you need uh, if you have some kind of code for something that you need to bring up, you can just set up a high key for it and anytime you need to remember that code it will pop it up or anything like that really. Um, on the actual main interface you've got the same thing you can capture over here. Uh, you can flag things here, which I, that one I really don't, I haven't figured that one out too much, but uh, here's where you can set your labels, here's where you can delete, and here's where you just highlight and export. Or if you have a big list you can actually come over here and search and you can set how you want to search. You can add new folders, you can delete folders, and you can resize uh, either here or 
resize the whole thing, which I actually kind of like it small. But that is Chef Box. I think it's an awesome little application, very useful. I've already used it a lot. Uh, just taking notes on things that I needed to remember later on. Uh, just pop that right back up with your hotkeys, and then within a half a second, you've got whatever it is that you needed. So definitely recommend trying this. Uh, I will set the price and all the link and all that over in the description. Uh, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks a lot. Bye.